snowing right now. But I wonder, what's it gonna be like in the morning? Let's find out. Are you ready? Let's do this. Um, in Idaho, um, I think a little ways away from Boise, maybe a couple hundred miles. Uh, and then according to my um, trip advisory or my, my map, I'm supposed to go through uh, Oregon up into Washington. Uh, as you may know from my last uh, check-in, it snowed overnight. Um, it got pretty, pretty bad out there. Um, when I was driving, I was trying to go to a flying J cause I saw a sign for it. Um, but, uh, in all of the snow and everything, I must've missed the exit. So I ended up having to stop here. I think I'm in Jerome, Idaho. Uh, and I stayed at a Walmart, uh, parking lot. And the reason why I stayed here is cause there were other truckers here uh last night and there's still a couple truckers out here this morning i do have snow chains um i may have to use them um i don't know yet right now they're recommended but they're not mandatory so the plan is to um see how the roads are when i get on them um it's been a couple hours there's nothing coming now um and i i think as long as you know trucks and everything are on the road i should be okay but um if i feel slippage or anything like that i'll pull off put on the um uh, the snow chains and, and go from there uh it is pretty um you know i grew up back east in massachusetts uh Brookline shout out to Brookline Massachusetts uh and so I'm very familiar with snow also lived in Green Bay uh so shout out to Green Bay uh but I didn't want snow <laughs> on this drive I wanted to get back as dry as possible as clean as possible and um, that's not going to happen so I think the plan for me is going to be uh sit here for a little bit longer there are a couple fast food places around here uh, at some point i'm going to go get some coffee and maybe something to eat uh, and just kind of continue to wait until um till the last minute before i really need to make a a trip over the mountain oh let me update you about the truma uh, heating system now i don't know if it was because i uh, took out the battery of my rig yesterday and then rehooked it up um and it reset everything but the truma system worked and it worked to perfection it is absolutely toasty and perfect here uh, again i think yesterday i was more frustrated with everything because i just didn't know the systems this is still not my rig right it's only been about two maybe well uh, yeah no two days with it so uh, I still have to learn so much about this rig um, and so far today and, and last night um, the rig worked perfectly with the heating system uh, I was nice and comfortable uh, I slept the other way for a while and then uh, this morning woke up so I can kind of look this way uh, but this isn't a bad way to sleep either um, you know the corner side is is off to my left here uh, but uh, uh, all in all not not a bad night sleeping uh, i just wish the the snow would go away so that's where we're at right now just gonna watch for a little bit and go get something to eat <laughs> Okay, here 
here goes. I'm gonna turn off everything, uh, fold up my shades, and drive this bad boy to go get something to eat. So I'm fueled up uh, from Carl's Jr. I'm going to now hit the road and see how this turns out. Hopefully it'll all be good. safe. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had to, well, actually maybe three years since I had to drive in snow, uh, but that was, you know, with my Subaru Crosstrek, this is a lot different. I'm just going to take my time and um, just watch the road and see how I do getting across to Seattle. in Oregon. 
Oregon, one more state to go, or this one, and then the next state. Um, really excited about the progress so far, um, and it's been an easy drive, with the exception of this morning when it was like really snowy and stuff. <laughs> when you drive you want to stop just to look at something it's got a viewpoint here let me show you what I'm looking at we're in Oregon just an absolutely beautiful view This is really cool to see. Nice. 
roads are in good condition. Um, next thing you'll see here coming up is I'll be rolling in to Seattle uh, and we are going to park uh, near my condo and uh, leave that, leave this overnight and then in the morning we'll take it over uh, to the storage unit first thing in the morning. Back in Seattle, the RV is parked. Time to go to bed. We'll get up tomorrow, take it to storage. Good morning, it is cold. Uh, I slept in my uh, bed last night. Uh, the RV was safe overnight. Uh, now it's time to get some breakfast and then uh, drop it off at the storage unit and that'll be the end of the trip uh, for me with this RV. Right now, um, it's a little before 6.30. I have to be out of here uh, before seven, otherwise I get charged more money. So um, yeah, let's just make the best of it. Let's go eat. able to return the uh, chains no problem I uh, got some money back so now I have some time before I need to drop off the RV so I'm at my spot I'm gonna set up and uh, do some work from the road So I'm parked in my new home. I am back in Seattle. Now it's time to just uh, get used to the RV. I'm gonna plan a trip to get out there and see what it's like uh, to shake it out officially. But until then, thanks for coming along on the drive. Hey, that's gonna do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And of course you can follow me on my website at rvjedi.com. Get out there, explore in whatever rig you can. It is such a fun thing to do. I can't wait to get things going with this one.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.